Hey everyone, welcome back to War Thunder's terrible replay system. Today we bring you the Messerschmitt BF-109 G2 flown by me. And the Hawker Typhoon 1B Late, I believe, flown by... That guy. And we are going to begin the energy fight of the century. So I already recognize that I have a pretty good speed advantage, and as a result I'm going to try and use it to pull him into the vertical giving him what looks like an easy shot, only to pull up into a spiral climb that he has simply no hope in following. He can keep his guns on me for a short period of time, but he simply cannot pull lead. And this is the point in time where he nearly stalls out, and me, expecting him to be a normal person, am going to use what energy I have to turn in and take a shot at him. And I'm going to miss, because I'm me and I suck at aiming, but that's okay, because I'm going to get another easy shot. Oh no, wait a minute, I'm... Uh, what is he turning into me for? This crazy person actually knows how to flat scissors. It's insane. Unfortunately, I was in the vertical, and you can't flat scissors against somebody who's above you. But now I've made a mistake. I followed him into a dive, and now that he's fast enough, he can use the magical, insane, absurdly good turn ability of the Typhoon. And <laughs> I recognize that there, there is no way in hell I'm going to beat a Typhoon in a medium speed turn fight, so... I used my energy advantage to extend away instead, and now, here's the tricky bit, I'm going to put myself into a bit of a zoom climb, and I'm going to draw him back up to altitude and slow him back down. I can outturn a Typhoon in the BF-109 at low speed, but I definitely can't fight a Typhoon at medium speed. So basically, I need to draw him back to low speed if I'm going to have any hope at all, and I'm also going to use my acceleration to get a bit of more of an energy advantage over him. Because I've recognized this person as, at a, the very least, he's a decent player. And I'm not going to be able to use the usual tricks on him. So I'm going to need a little bit of extra energy. But still, I cut underneath him in the opposite direction he rolled initially. Which basically guarantees his inability to attack me in the head-on. But he wasn't trying very hard. He doesn't seem like the kind of person who just fully commits to the head-on. And again, he's going to be able to pull his nose onto me but he's not going to be able to pull lead because he just doesn't have the elevator authority at this low of a speed. And yay, going back into the vertical. Does he have the energy to pull his nose into the vertical after me? He's going to try. Oh, he's trying. I'm a little annoyed at how successful he's being, but notice a second ago he was on my tail. Now we're 180 degrees apart from each other in the circle. He's still more on my tail than... Oh, and now... How he's doing that low yo-yo, he's picking up a bunch of speed. He gets to use the Typhoon's superior turn time to pull in. Again, get his guns on me, but the Typhoon's nose is too heavy to maneuver in the vertical enough to actually get lead. And now he's going to have a split second shot here, but I spoiled it by going into a spiral climb. And now there's simply no way he can keep his nose on me. His plane is simply too heavy to follow. And I'm going to loop around, and I'm going to start a low yo-yo and try and pull my guns around on him. And he, rather than doing another low yo-yo to pick up energy and maneuverability, he simply turns in a flat horizontal turn. Which is enough to prevent me from getting a shot, but it is not enough to prevent me from getting on his tail. And at this point in time, rather than doing what normal people do and pulling up, he stayed horizontal, which... Rather than taking a deflection shot, I intentionally went above him to delay to try and drop in on his tail, and he timed it perfectly going into the vertical, and he just stalled himself out intentionally, and he gets to drop in on my tail. Now, unfortunately for him, I also know how little energy he has, and I'm able to pull right back into the vertical, loop around, and he shouldn't be able to follow me, although he is going to be able to crest the top, and nope, didn't manage to pull lead. But... I also am starting to realize I don't have the energy advantage I think I do. Yep, he managed to fight from an energy disadvantage basically to an equal energy level with me in a Typhoon. He just reminded me that the Typhoon actually does have pretty good energy retention and it actually has a very good power to weight ratio despite being so heavy. The Typhoon actually does make a pretty good energy fighter, and despite how good of an energy fighter I am, he managed to fight me to a standstill, which is definitely not something the average person can do. So we're going to fast forward a bit. Now that I know how good he is, I'm not taking my chances a second time. I'm going to get a good, big energy advantage to kill him. And he's 
going to decide that he's going to try and outclimb me, which I'm in a 109. You don't outclimb 109s in in anything that isn't massively under tiered. And a typhoon is it? This is actually a very fair fight aircraft wise. So I'm going to come back in again. I'm flying directly under him, and I'm going to dodge in the opposite direction he rolls. So he has to complete an extra 180 degree roll if he has any chance at all at attacking me during the head-on, and he simply didn't have it. And now he's all of a sudden on my tail, despite the fact that we were going head-on before. That's the Typhoon's superior turn time giving him my tail. But in doing that, he bled a bunch of energy, which gave me an even bigger energy advantage than I originally started with. And again, he's able to get his guns on me for a split second, but he doesn't have the energy to follow me, and he doesn't. his plane is far too heavy to pull back into the vertical. And so again, I'm going to use this big energy advantage I have to turn myself in while he's in the vertical stalling himself out. He has so little speed, he simply isn't able to turn anywhere near as well as the 109 can at the medium speed I'm at. And of course I missed him because I suck. And now he's trying to pull into a horizontal scissors, also known as a flat scissors. I am immediately refusing and trying to start a rolling scissors. Instead of accepting the rolling scissors, he turns it into basically just a straight loop fight, which arguably the Typhoon would have done better in the loop fight, or in the uh, rolling scissors in the loop fight, but now he's doing the thing he did before. He's intentionally stalling his plane out at the top of his loop, which causes him to do a quick 180 degree flop from straight vertical to straight down. I, I saw him do it the first time, and I was expecting him to do it that second time, so I was able to pull in sort of on his tail. And now he's going to do it again. Rather than completely stalling himself out, he just slowed himself down enough to help him complete that little bit of a turn. And I tried to take a snapshot, failed. I'm going to try and take another snapshot. And guess what? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not an accurate shot. And he used the Typhoon's turn time to get a little bit of distance on me there, but he doesn't have it. And now I'm seeing him do it again. He's going to do the exact same thing again. He's going to pull into the vertical. He's going to stall himself out. If I would have stayed full throttle here, I've actually cut throttle as I came up to do the same thing he did. If I would have stayed on the throttle, I would have ended up overtaking him, and I would have ended up in front of him again. And again, as we're coming down here, again, I've cut throttle. You can see, even with my throttle cut, I'm closing the distance. Rather than picking up a bunch of extra speed and overshooting, I'm actually slowing down enough to stay with him. And because I stayed with him, guess what's about to happen? Blap! <laughs> Yes, it took oh, all landing gear, but uh, yep, other than the fact that his wheel almost just killed me, it turns out the 109 can beat the Typhoon in a low speed turn, especially if that low speed turns in the vertical, but I just, I was cutting throttle through half that last bit of the fight so I wouldn't overshoot. I actually had to give up energy fighting and go to a more traditional turn fight style, and up, oh, that's how much cannon ammo I had left. <laughs> Oh, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I ran into a Typhoon pilot that is such a good energy fighter. He managed to fight me to a standstill, even though I theoretically had the better plane for that type of a fight. So instead, I mixed up my own tactics and beat him in a fight that theoretically the Typhoon should have won. <laughs> oh, air combat is just so silly when you run into somebody who's on pretty much an even skill level with you. <laughs> Why can't all my enemies be that good? Oh, BF-109. This thing's insane. It's crazy good plane. Oh, I love it. Even with Mao Sam and the instructor screwing with you, it works. It did it. It beat the Typhoon in a straight fight. Yay. <laughs> oh...